Go ahead and give us your cool. name. Hi, I'm Zach Mack. I'm the owner of Alphabet City Beer Co. in New York City. The pour is an important part for the beer drinking experience because pouring it the wrong way can leave a lot of the aroma and carbonation inside of it. So few people know how to pour beer from draft or bottle. You can see a lot of people who get overly excited and pour too fast down the middle. A big mistake that people usually make is to toss their favorite beer mug or glass into the freezer. and That's actually terrible for your beer. The ice crystals on the inside of it, it will kill all the aroma and carbonation in your beer before you can get to drink it. It's very important that people realize that beer is, you know, just like any other food item, it's got to be taken care of. So before you even think about opening the bottle of beer, it's really important that you take the glass and you rinse it out. Once you have your clean glass, then you can open your beer and get ready to pour it. Take the glass and tilt it at a 45 degree angle and pour the beer down the side of the glass until it's about halfway full. At which point you want to turn it up 90 degrees and pour straight down the middle of the glass to start throwing off head. Throwing up enough head on the beer, a lot of people think it's a bartender's way of ripping you off, but that inch of head on top of your beer is actually a huge part of the process. Head retention is, is, is a sign of a good beer. If you're pouring something that's bottle conditioned, it's a different process. You're going to want to make sure that the beer hasn't been jostled around for a while. It's been sitting and stored upright as it always should be. When you're pouring it, keep an eye on where the liquid level is in the bottle. And when you see the yeast make its way towards the neck of the bottle, stop pouring. The yeast itself is actually full of vitamins and pretty good for you, but it will totally alter the taste of the beer. The yeast rule applies for all the bottle conditioned bottles, except in the case of Hefeweizen, where the yeast plays a very important part in the flavor. So you want to do the opposite of what we just said. You take a bottle and actually lay it on the table and roll it back and forth a few times so you can evenly distribute the yeast throughout it. And then when you go to pour your beer, it'll have all the appropriate qualities it should. Uh, if you're pouring a nitro beer, which is becoming more and more popular with specific breweries, you're going to want to do the opposite of what we just said. You need to pour the beer into the glass as hard as you possibly can in order to agitate it enough to get the nitrogen out of the liquid. If you've ever had Guinness on tap, then you know what a nitrogen beer tastes like. It's different than CO2. Uh, and the reason that is, is basically, this is a good way to enjoy beer the way they did it before pressurized CO2 lines. The perfect pour seems to be pretty much widely accepted. They're, the only disagreement seems to be from people who argue over the type of glassware that's used. Some people are trending these days more towards specific style, uh, style appropriate glasses. I think that for everyday drinking, that's a little overkill. Uh, I think as long as you have a clean glass and kind of utilizing like, the angles that, that are appropriate, there's no majorly wrong way to do it.